Shalom, brothers and sisters. I thought I would touch on the number six just briefly with you today and some interesting things from the word of God around that. So the number six is significant with a lot of amazing connections. And you might know some of these, you might not know at all. And then this will be a treasure trove of information for you regarding why the number six is so important. So if we begin right in the beginning, there were six days of creation before there was a day of rest. So there is your first six. Man was created on the sixth day. The number of man, according to the word of God, is six. So the number associated with man is six. We were created on the sixth day and there were six days of creation before the day of rest. The number of the beast in Revelation is six, six, six. So it's six tripled to highlight or strengthen or make even stronger the statement of rebellion against God in that number. Noah was 600 years old when the flood came on the earth. The time set for man on earth is 6,000 years before there will be a 1,000 year reign of Jesus Christ, the Lion of the tribe of Judah in Jerusalem. So we are coming up on the end of that 6,000 years right now. Again, with the six. Nebuchadnezzar's image that was made was 60 cubits high and six cubits in breadth. Hebrew slaves served six years and were released on the seventh. Almost like we're living in slave to sin and, and death in the world for 6,000 years. We who are with Christ have freedom from that. He has conquered sin and the grave. And after this 6,000 years in the seventh, there is release. We are going to be raptured, removed, harpazoed before the time of judgment. And we will reign and rule with Christ for that thousand years. So Hebrew slaves, six years of service and then released in the seventh. Six years are appointed for the land to be sown and harvested before resting after that. Now that's interesting because for 6,000 years, the world has been busy with everything it needs to be busy with. And we are having the harvest take place as well before that final thousand year stretch. So again, beautifully connected. Jesus was accused six times of being demon possessed. Mark 3 verse 22, John 7 20, John 8 verse 48, John 8 verse 52, John 10 verse 20 and Luke 11 verse 15. The first miracle of Jesus in Cana at Galilee at the wedding. Six pots were filled and brought to Jesus. John 2 verse 1 to 11. Those six pots representing a time period of mankind, 6,000 years. And then he, he changes everything to wine and they reach in and they remove a small amount to take to the master so that he can taste and see. The same way that at the end of these 6,000 years, a small amount will be raptured, harpazoed, taken to the master and he will exclaim, this is the best that has been kept till the last. And how incredible is that connection with the rapture, the arpazo, the church and the time that we're living in at the moment. It's beautiful. The Bible mentions six earthquakes. Exodus 19 verse 18, 1 Kings 19 verse 11, Amos 1 verse 1, Matthew 27 verse 54, Matthew 28 verse 2 and Acts 16 verse 26. Jesus was asked six times. To produce a sign to prove who he was. Matthew 12 verse 38. Matthew 16 verse 1. Matthew 24 verse 3. Luke 11 verse 16. John 2 verse 18. And John 6 verse 30. The Old Testament reveals six important Passovers. Exodus 12. Numbers 9. Joshua 5. 2 Chronicles 30. 2 Chronicles 35 and Ezra 6. Then the New Testament reveals six critical Passovers. Luke 2 verse 41 to 42, 
John 2, Luke 6 verse 1, John 6 verse 4, Matthew 26, and 1 Corinthians 11. Beginning in 1 Samuel chapter 17, we learn that Goliath is about six cubits high, has six pieces of armor, and his spearhead weighs 600 shekels. We have all the ingredients in that description to make up 666. How interesting is that? And then David takes a stone and slays the giant. The same way that the rock of the ages will smash the feet of this image representing all the empires of man and destroy everything. And he will be our king, Jesus Christ, when he is done. And so you see the connection to the story of David and Goliath and what's coming in the end. The 666th verse in the Bible is Revelations 13 verse 18. And let's have a look at what that says. What could that be? Revelations 13 verse 18, the 666th verse in the Bible. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His name, sorry, his number is 666. Probably just a coincidence, right? I mean, come on. You've been on this channel long enough. You should know there's no such thing with the Lord as coincidences at all. The interesting thing that I'll leave you with that you need to remember is this. And I'll take it from the Old Testament. God completed his work on the sixth day. Completed. We are coming up. A day for the Lord is a thousand years and a thousand years is one day. We are coming up on the end of the sixth day. Six thousand years. He will complete his work the same way on the sixth day. And we will have a thousand years of rest with the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Jesus Christ, our Messiah, our King, our God, and our, our absolute love of our lives. So, the number six does not scare us. It points to a lot of relevant things in our journey. And it shows you where it's all going to end. For good and for bad. God bless. Have a great day. Shalom.